Hey, I'm Richard Schwartz from Schwartz & Associates Law Firm, and with me is Patrick Wooten from the law firm. He's uh, our CEO, or he manages the managing partner for the law firm, and he's a veteran. And this is a public service ad more than anything else. I'm not advertising for cases, and if you want to call us, you can. We are accepting these type cases, but the reality is we want to reach out to veterans and the people who served us and protected us and making sure we have freedom. They're victims and they need to know their rights and they need to take action. So what has happened is 3M, 3M company made earplugs that were defective. 3M knew they were defective, yet they sold them to the government. So what has happened is, in my opinion, 3M is going to reach a settlement. And when they reach a settlement, like most settlements, they have actual payments to people who made claims and they have a futures deal for people who did make claims that may make claims in the future. Those people usually get less money. So for every veteran that served between 2003 to 2015 and used 3M earplugs, they need to take notice, they need to take some action, they need to go talk to a lawyer, they need to do what they got to do to protect their rights. I believe it will be a substantial um, settlement for each of those people. And I can assure you as the military is so loud, you have earplugs that don't work, you're gonna have lost some hearing. And it's easy to determine that because the government, uh, when in the military, you go once a year for a checkup and they check your hearing as well. And, uh, and Patrick will explain, because he was, he was served our country, he'll explain how that works and the fact that the loss of hearing you should be compensated for. So Patrick, as a veteran, tell us a little bit about you when you were deployed and how, your experiences. Absolutely, so spent 24 years in the Mississippi Army National Guard and deployed in 2009 with the unit out of Vicksburg in support of Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan. Um, and you hit the nail on the head. The nice thing about the military is you get an annual physical, um, they contract with you know, a hearing um, expert. So you come in and you put the headset on. Every service member who served knows this. You put the headset on, you listen to the beeps, and you click the button on the right or left when you're hearing those beeps. So this is a case where the military records are really going to be able to help our service members because you clearly know what your hearing was before you deployed. You'll be able to know what your hearing was after you deployed. And with these earplugs, which just unfortunately did not fit firmly in your ear canal, so they didn't create the airtight seal, which allowed in the extraneous noise, which has caused diminished hearing and tinnitus for our service members, um, you know, at that point, you've got the records to easily prove what transpired, that unfortunately you, were suff you suffered an injury because a company, in this case 3M, chose profits over people. You know, the service members who were out there defending freedoms didn't get that same, you know, benefit from 3M, you know, in defending their hearing and defending their rights to make sure that they were protected and had the best, you know, tools to go forward and serve their country. So that's why it's so important to do something, protect your rights. If you serve between 2003, 2015 in the military, any branch, and you use three ear earplugs, which is the standard earplug at the time, you need to take some action. You need to call a law firm. You're more than welcome to call us at 601-9-8 or any law firm. Just take action and protect your rights.